Hi everyone, today we're going to have a look at how to tie these rose button knots. I'm going to start this off by forming a bite here at the top and then tying a snake knot and I'm going to do that by taking the left hand strand over the right and to the back right back around just so I form a loop encompassing this right hand strand now I'm going to take that right hand strand diagonally up to the left and then I'm going to take it down through that right hand loop and that's our snake knot once we've tied our snake knot we just want to rotate this whole thing vertically and then we have this loop down the bottom here and we have something that resembles a carrot bend here at the top and you'll notice there's a lobe here on the right and a lobe here on the left first of all I want to insert my middle finger into the center of the knot because we're going to need that center later and then just make sure that that loop is pulled through down the bottom so we don't lose that loop and I'm going to pull out each of these lobes on either side Now I'm going to take my top strand through that right lobe. And it will create its own lobe here. And I want to just insert my index finger into that top lobe because I don't want to lose it. And I'm going to take this bottom strand up through that left lobe and it will also create its own lobe down here at the bottom and I want to insert my ring finger so I don't lose that lobe and I just want to close down these side lobes here just by pulling down that lower loop now I can take this upper strand through where my index finger is and I can get rid of my index finger and I'm going to take this bottom strand through that bottom lobe where my ring finger is and I can remove my ring finger now I just want to take this top strand all the way around and then up through the center of the knot so I want to take it around this right hand leg of that lower loop and then straight up through the center and then I'm going to take this other strand around the left hand leg of the lower loop and I'm going to take that straight up the center too now I can grab a hold of that lower loop and I can grab these two cords down the bottom and I can just gently draw this whole thing together and now we can just start taking slack out of the knot so I'm going to start at one side and then pull slack all the way through just taking it bit by bit otherwise we'll distort the shape of the knot too much And once we get to this loop, we can pull this almost all the way down. But on our first tightening, just leave a tiny loop here because we don't want to lose that in the center of the knot. So we'll leave a tiny loop there and we'll continue pulling slack through.
and you can see we're starting to take shape here. Then this second time when we get to the loop, we can pretty much close that all the way down. Again, careful not to lose it right in the center of the knot. So pull it down until it forms like a tiny little button there. And then we can just continue right around. And then that should be your finished knot. Please share this video because that allows me to keep providing content for you guys. Thanks for watching.